In this video, we're going to do the integral of secant x again. The last time I did this, I didn't have my voice in the videos. So this will be the integral of 1 over cosine of x dx. And we can multiply by cosine on both sides. So that will be cosine of x over cosine squared of x dx. Now you know that cosine of x is 1. Cosine squared of x will be 1 minus sine squared of x dx. So we can do u sub, so that'll be u equals sine of x, du equal cosine of x, dx. So this will equal to the integral of du over 1 minus u squared. So this will be equal to, so 1 over 1 minus u squared is 1 minus u, 1 plus u. This will be equal to something over 1 minus u, so something over 1 plus u. So we can cover up 1 minus u, and so that would be when u equals 1, so then this would be 1 half. And we can cover up 1 plus u, so that would be u equals negative 1, so that would be, when you plug that back in without this 1 plus u term, it would be 1 half again. So this would just be 1 half integral of 1 over 1 minus u, du plus 1 half integral of 1 plus 1 plus u over du. So when you take this derivative, you have a negative 1 half ln 1 minus u because you have to divide by the derivative of 1 minus u, which is negative 1. And you have plus 1 half ln 1 plus u. We can factor, so we have ln of 1 plus u minus 1 half minus 1, so this would be ln of 1 minus u. So this would be 1 half ln 1 plus u over 1 minus u. So this would be 1 half ln of, okay, so u would be sine of x. This would be 1 plus sine of x over 1 minus sine of x. And we can multiply by 1 plus sine of x to make the denominator one term eventually. So this would be 1 half ln 1 plus sine of x squared over 1 minus this this thing would be 1 minus sine squared which would be cosine squared of x. So this would be equal to 1 half ln 1 plus sine of x over cosine of x squared, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So this 2 will go to the front, so it will be a 2 here, so we can get rid of this. And 2 over 2 will be 1, leaving us with ln absolute value. 1 over cosine is secant, and sine of x over cosine of x would be tangent of x plus c. And that is the answer to integral of secant of x.